pull up the iPad so I can see comments. Yay! Happy Wednesday, hump day. Right on. So, yeah, I'm a little, I'm, I just, I'm doing afternoon today because I had a, a, a mastermind. I have a group of ladies that I meet with every other week and we mastermind about our art business. So that was today. And they are morning people and I am not. <laughs> so we usually meet early. Wait, okay, let me see if I can get this a little more. So it's not feeling like you guys are falling. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. <laughs> All right. So I was revisiting. Oh, first thing I wanted to say, I was revisiting this. This was, I did this yesterday. I did not realize that spray paint was so sparkly. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I, I was playing with the stencils yesterday. Um, during yesterday's live cast, and this this is not as messy as I thought it was. I mean, I kind of like it, but I might go over it with a different layer. I'm going to play with this. It's it's going in the stack of to to continue to play with. And this, I want to say I started this this as a like clean off sheet, but I'm liking the direction it's going in, and it's it's a title. It's well, not a title, please. It's the start of a chapter. So it has this illustration of geese, which I think is kind of cool. So I don't know. I thought that was cool. I'm going to hold on to that. And then these are my papers that I jelly plate printed last, last or week, uh, Friday before last, maybe? I think it was. I can't remember. Um that I might be doing some gluing today. I'm not 100% sure. So I've got these kind of set to the side, and we'll see what, what happens. What's this? I have no... Oh, this might be a, a sheet. I don't even know. I'm putting it with the paper stack. And then this is a receipt that I can... I like the look of old receipts. Well, this isn't terribly old, but it... It's still styled in a way that that feels like they don't, they or like they're about to not make this kind anymore. Anyway, so paper receipts are great. So I'm back to this spread. I thought maybe I'd play with this spread, or at least start off playing with this spread, and and mostly because this is this is the spread that I've set out to take notes for my weaving, and I I attached this this. Uh, this the, this was the end of the warp that I just I cut off the um, the warping board or cut the end so I can put the warp on the loom. But this is the yarn that I use, so I want to attach this. But do I even know where my stapler is? So <laughs> for now, I'm just gonna use this butterfly clip until I can figure out what I'm gonna do. But I think I want to. I don't know. Attach it somehow. Maybe it's just like this, and and then that way it can it can hang out like a tassel. So for now, I'm just going to clip it in, and um, and I'll figure that out later. But I'm going to clip it in in a way that it hangs off the top. Um, and then I thought I would just do some washes here because there's going to be a lot of note taking here, I think. <laughs> and I also need to leave room to paste down some um, uh, the the actual pattern and how I figure out that I messed up this side. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna leave this side kind of blank, but I I did want to put like a watercolor wash on. So I think I'm just gonna do that today. Um, but I do have my other books set aside. This is what I did yesterday. And, you know, as messy as it looked when I was doing it, coming back to it now that it's dry, I don't hate it. I mean, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's a good start. It's a good layer. I definitely would will put stuff over it. And then, oh, this is the notes. This is like a, I went to this iron pour a couple of years ago. And this, I wanted to document the woman's 
suit that she had on. She had on the like this this whole leather getup, like suede leather, like brown suede leather, and it was really cool because it had this like shrug thing for sleeves, and I just thought it was really cool. So I I knew that I would want to remember that for future future reference. Anyway, all right, I don't want to go down the path of a journal flip, but I do want to play with this right here. And I also have inks in case I decide I'm going to start doing anything with that. And I am, oh, look at all these little bits of paper in here. <laughs> what a hot mess. Okay, wait. I'm going to save these for, I don't even know what, uh, put them right there. Okay. Uh, and I think today I'm just going to use this this brush here. This is this is my favorite brush. I love it. It's just a. Uh, I mean, I can get so many different shapes with it. So, oh, I didn't clean my sponge. I'm gonna get this too because I feel like I need a towel. All right. So I'm just gonna do some little edge edge stuff. Yay. Oh. And that's about it. I need to get back to doing some jelly plate printing and I don't know when that's going to happen, but I don't know that that'll happen on camera. I still need to do, I just had the urge to jelly plate print like there's no tomorrow. Um, these patches. I did find one of these that had the green on it that I hadn't run through the wash yet. So I heat set the crap out of it. And then I have that one piece that I found that wasn't, um, that wasn't washed. And so I, I'm going to do a test with that and then do some more patches. I'm really kind of dying to do that. Been sewing on patches at night. I should have brought those down to show you guys. I'll do that next time. All right, so I think I'm just going to, I'm going for background, but let me start because I think this color is darker than I want. No, it might not be too bad. I love this color. Let's try where I do a, bleed another color into it. Ooh, I like that. Because this is kind of, it's, it's like a, it's a, I kind of did like a rainbowy dyed warp. I didn't really mean to make it so rainbow. It just kind of turned out that way. But, I mean, it's not awful. It's kind of cool. But, I wanted something a little more. Not monochromatic, but just to, that look more like a colorway and not like a rainbow. I know a rainbow is a colorway, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, I feel like I don't have great greens, but I think my looking at the paint is not informing me properly of my greens. Okay, so that's, you know, I wasn't a swatcher before, but. I've become a swatcher um, because this, this is the layout and this seems like it's, I like the colors here and I forget that that's what these are. So anyway, I think I'm going to go with, hmm. See, I'm not really loving the greens. Uh, there's this one. I think I'm going to go with something more olive, olive, avocado y olive. Oh, this one. What's that? That is, this is turquoise. That's that one. All right. <laughs> Let's do that one. Um, let me put that up here so I can see it. Okay. I 
I'm kind of one. I need to look through my paints, my tubes. It's been a while since I've looked at my tubes. I have, because I, you know, keep what I'm going to be working with in that palette right there. But I started collecting, I mean, you know, I have sets, but I started buying like individual tubes as well. You know, just like if I'm at the store and there's some good colors, I just want to keep a collection. <laughs> okay, let's go with this turquoise. Surprised I haven't used this color more. I love this color. All right, let me get some more of that green. That green is like real transparent. All right. And then I want like a cobalt. Hmm. Deep blue. This one. See if I can reactivate that pink a little bit to get it to blend better. Yay! <laughs> well, there's space. Let me paint something on those sides. Mm -hmm. Payne's gray. I like that. Okay, that's the this is deep black. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Because this, I think, was a mess up. So, one, two, three, four, five. Like I said, I want to keep this light to where I can write over it, but just to add some interest. Because sometimes writing on a watercolor background wash is way more fun than just writing on plain paper. There we go. That'll work. <laughs> All right, so I want to do something else over here. Maybe I was looking, oh, what's that great little beige color? It says contaminated white. <laughs> okay. Or maybe I'll do that pearl color, which is also contaminated like crazy. That'll be, let's see how that looks. I can always paint over it, right? Okay. Wow, that's like not even a color. Wait. <laughs> it's sparkle is actually what it is. Interesting. Okay. What can I do with that? I think... Hmm. Let's throw some color in on the sides and then go with this purple maybe no wait copper this is copper deep purple yeah this color this reddish purple
you know, this paper in this book is not great for like super wet media. It looks like it's going to bleed. Oh, it totally is bleeding through. Great. <laughs> I'll probably be pasting something over that. Okay. Yeah, this is not watercolor paper for sure. This is a... Uh... Oh, this was... This was last year's book? No, this is... Oh, this is just one of the... Canson... Yeah. Canson books, probably from like Michael's. So it's probably from mixed media, but not really wet media. Okay. That's fine. Because, and except for on this page, well, this page, it's interesting because I think on this side is where I put like scraps, like end scraps that I tore off of my jelly plate pages. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like when it dries and what I want to do with that. So, all right. There it is. I'm going to let that dry. And let's move on to something else. All right, I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to continue with some watercolor stuff. But let's see. Let's see what I can do. You know, I think I want to put something on the back of this. Where's my page? papers let's see so it's going on here and it's pink on this side now that might be kind of cool or with the greens dots maybe let's see oh that's a possibility let's look and see what else i got this is kind of cool The blue, maybe the green with the black. I think I want it to be. Mm. This one. Well, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, I think that it does have a little bit of pink on this side. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to cut it out this way. And then glue that on later. All right. <clears throat> You know, I had come across my my photo corners at some point very recently, <laughs> probably when I was like rushing like mad to clean up my office for because we were having out of town company come in, and so things got shoved into a box. I bet it's upstairs somewhere. But anyway, so yeah, I need some other corners. Or maybe a part of me is wondering if I should just fold some corners, which I think maybe I'll do that. Have two of the corners folded. And if I hate them, I can go back with my other corners, photo corners. So this was at the Scrap Exchange, an old school library card. And they were selling, you know, big little stacks of them for... Um, a dollar or something like that. Just super cheap. I love them. Okay. So 
So making a photo corner. And I'm just going to fold. Let's see, let me cut this in half. Here we go. And then I'm just going to cut this here. And glue that. And you just fit it into the corner there. I'll do the same with this one. <clears throat> Oops. All right. Oh, when I'm working with the <laughs> tiny little folds, my fingers feel so huge. Here we go. Yay! Right on. Okay. What is this? Oh, that was to was a protective sheet because when I did this and that ink was wet. So I think, yeah. No, it was for the because look at the paper here. It was for this other bit. So now I have this card here. I feel like I want to do something else though with Hmm. I'll wait and see, but at least this part's done. There we go. Yay. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Oh, I love this lawyer. I never made the little paper for this. I fold it in half. Maybe I'll fold it again. Yeah, let me do that. So if I, let me cut it down to size though. So it needs to be. That wide. There you go. I'm gonna okay, but I think I want to glue paper onto the back of that. Uh hmm. Lots of coppery golds in there. I don't think I have anything that ended up being coppery gold, though. This would fit. This is nice. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to... Uh, six and one half those in the other. Okay, I'm going to glue this side down. <clears throat> And I know that this is way bigger folded, but I'm going to do like a, do two folds and let one of them be a short fold. All right.
And this is where I am going to do, a, it's a place, a place for me to just journal. So, like a little letter to myself. <laughs> I was telling my group today that I had, right before I moved from Asheville, I've been saving jars like crazy. For some reason, I found all these great jars and just had a hard time throwing away cool jars. You see, now that would have made good uh, those little edges like that. See, that would be really nice little photo corners. Okay, I'll hold on to these because, you know, save every scrap of paper. Anyway, so I had saved all these jars and I even like packed a couple of boxes of some of the, I mean, some of them were like big giant pickle jars, which are great for, you know, storing flowers and stuff like that. Flour as in like bread flour, except for I'm gluten-free, so it's gluten-free flours. And uh, so I had all these jars and I was cleaning out the garage and found those jars again. And it was perfect because I needed them to save the different gluten-free flours that I have to experiment with bread making for gluten-free. And, and it was perfect. So I want to say that it was, I thanked my former self for knowing that my future self would need those jars. <laughs> anyway, so that, but that's what I feel like. My, my present self is creating space for my future self to art journal, to do like written journal stuff. So there that is. So there it is for a future letter to myself. Right there. It's like, here, let me buy this blank card for you. <laughs> All right. So that's ready. This is an illustration I started. For a while there, when I would do jelly plate printing, I could look at it, and it seems like shapes would pop out at me, or I could see the faces in there. And so for some reason, this one looked like, like this woman who was, was sitting underneath a bull. Of so, or a goat, of so, some big beast of some kind, but not an unfriendly beast. <laughs> it's like a large cow with large horns. Anyway, it's been a while since I've been able to look at, at things and see the faces. Let me do a quick flip through to see if there's anything else. I'm happy about that. And oh, did I put something in here? Oh, this is an old uh, this is a card somebody actually sent me. And then these are oh, this is like a little okay. I see what this is. Right on. Tuck this back into place. See, I'm working on the patterning on this, and it's kind of like the same thing with the dots that I'm doing, like here. I started to do here. I wonder, you know, I wonder where this tape is, and this tape for that matter, and my butterfly tape. There's like a box or a bag of art supplies somewhere that I have no idea. So. I'll have to dig it up. It's somewhere. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this is uh, when I was flying to Taos in, in 2022. When I was flying out of Taos. This was when I looked out of the plane down at the river below. I think this is the Rio Grande. And um, the the river from the sky had this kind of salmon-y color. And it might not have been this bright a red, but it felt like it was this bright a red. So this was to remember that. And some feathers. This is this one I painted. This one I found. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a map of downtown Santa Fe, I think. Anyway, so I think that's all for today. I will check you guys later. So, all right. See you tomorrow, probably in the morning. No, wait. Tomorrow I have an appointment really early. So, yeah, it might be at noon or at, at 1 o'clock because I probably won't be home until noon. So it'll be in the afternoon. All right. Talk to you tomorrow.